Oh. Ah, back to 2021, New Year, same job. Why is there no SD card in this? Hey, this is I need an assistant. Anybody looking to work for me? Please. Okay, audio setup ready. Reflector ready. Lights. Camera. Hi, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to 2021 and the very first video of 2021 on this channel. For today's video, I'm trying a bunch of new makeup that I bought from International Makeup India, which is this website uh, in India that retails international makeup, authentic international makeup. So I've got some new makeup that I want to try with you all and it's like a first impression sort of video while I also chit chat and talk to you all about a lot of insecurities that I have and a sort of fear that I have about 2021. I'm just sort of reflecting over 2020 while also talking to you all about all the thoughts I have about 2021 in this video. So it's very chilled out. I also feel like it's gonna be relatable to a few of y'all. So go grab a snack and then dive right into it. All right, I'm sorry I'm so close to y'all, but first we are gonna go in with eyeshadow because I have a new eyeshadow palette to test out. So this is the Beauty Glazed Color Board Palette and it is so stunning. I saw this in Akanksha Komireli's review video. There's this green palette and this orange. Also, you've got blues and you've got lavenders. Like there's so much variety and it's absolutely stunning and I got this for 2000 rupees. So I think it's great value for money if the shadows perform well. So I'm trying that out. So first I'm gonna like conceal my eyelids. Uh, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer for that. Along with doing my makeup, I'm also going to chat with y'all. So uh, let's catch up about what's happened in literally two days of 2021 starting for me. And also certain things that have been playing on my mind. It's going to be a little bit of a personal um, career related sort of video into like a little insight into what has been going on in my crazy mind. So yeah, like I think for me 2020 was very um, sort. Like up until 2020 was only very sort. Like uh, like keeping the pandemic aside, keeping COVID aside and everything. In 2020, there was no basic life-changing decision that I had to make up till 2020. Because uh, I took up occupational therapy like four years back in 2017. And once I took that up, I had a very like well-defined course of career that was going on. I was like, yes, for four years, to do this. 2020 also, when the pandemic hit and college shut and everything, I was not stressed because I had YouTube to keep my mind occupied and everything and YouTube was like going on. Now, on the side, I knew that the world is facing this together. So someday, of course, college will start and I do have to go back to my college only. There's nothing that I don't belong anywhere. I was not one of those batches that graduated and had to look for a job in 2020 which sucked and my friends were a part of it and I know how hard it's been for them. I'm gonna first take this pale eyeshadow and I'm taking this on the Morphe X Jacqueline JH33 brush. Also a new brush that I just got. And so yeah, because 2020 was nothing revolutionary, I was not very stressed uh, about it when the new year started and everything. But I think for me 2021, since the time it started, I'm sort of low-key scared about it because I have to make some big life altering decisions this year about my career, about what I want to do, about um, where I'm taking my life, like, you know, because any decision that I make this year is going to affect my life big time. It's going to literally be what I do for the rest of my life. So I need to know for sure what I'm doing, right? Now I'm making this lavender purple color on the same brush. I'm going to just put this in the crease. 2020, because I focused so much on my channel and then out of nowhere, YouTube next step happened for me just such a blessing in disguise like I didn't even know what was happening to me when I won YouTube next up I didn't know where it's gonna take me it was just like a literal blessing that happened in 2020 because it gave me so much perspective about my channel like I never looked at my channel monetarily like I never looked at it as a career option or never looked it was just fun it was honestly like I wanted to have fun with makeup and I wanted to like I thought the idea of sitting and talking while I do my makeup is really fun. Literally, that's what I do. So I thought I would do that, you know, kya hi ja hai. Matlab, I'm a very hyperactive person. I can balance two things. That's what I thought and that's why I came on YouTube. Today I see so many people coming into content creation with a set goal in mind that, okay, this year, this much target, this year, this much target. Uh, this is when I should start earning. This is how I should start earning, which is great. So many people looking at it like that. But I never looked at it like that, which is even today for me, 
I do it and I continue to do it but I don't stress much about the numbers or anything everything that's happening is happening very organically for me and I'm just like going with the flow when it comes to YouTube I don't want to stress about YouTube because I never looked at it like that so I'll tell you something about YouTube and Instagram and content creation okay this is what I feel everybody might not feel this way but I feel like it's the internet you know at the end of the day it's the internet just the way TikTok just got shut one day what if I'm not saying it's gonna happen what if YouTube just decides to shut down or you know like something like it's not stable it's like it's about virality and not stability is what I feel with content creation and it's great when you're doing well and you feel good but there's so much anxiousness there's so much mental health that goes behind being a content creator and I honestly saw that in the pandemic like when I started really taking YouTube seriously working towards it working working towards it in the pandemic when I had no job as an occupational therapist I was not going to the hospital I was not working over there and I was only focusing on YouTube I realized how much anxiety how much stress goes behind every video planning it seeing the analytics going crazy behind numbers then even brand deals are so much work you guys I like I wish like as a friend I could just sit y'all down and tell y'all oh my god the amount of back and forth that goes in grand deals it's crazy hectic like I've reached a point where I've told my manager that it's okay if I'm not earning money but I don't want to get into so much headache with brands and our trust they tell koi koi brands like yeah some brands are really beautiful to work with but you don't come to know how beautiful they are to work with until you start working with them and sometimes you start working that time they're very sweet and then they show their true colors later so it's been a little bit of a turbulent ride towards the end of 2020 when I dealt with some really crazy irritating brand deals and it's not I would not name the brands because sometimes it's not the brand's fault sometimes yeah, mostly it's not the brand's fault it's the agency that gets in contact with you I'm just taking this dark purple color on my uh, pack 203 brush it's a dense packing brush I'll pack it on my outer corner Oh, this color is really beautiful. Huh? This is so nice. I'm sorry if the ring light is fluctuating when I'm talking. I can't really help it. I'm going to look into it after this video about what's wrong with that. I'm not saying that brand deals are hard work and so I don't want to do it. Like I don't want to work hard towards my channel. Of course I do. I, I like keep on upgrading my content. I want to make my content more beautiful, more worth. Like you know that brands should want to approach me for the quality of content that I put out. And I want my audience to be able to watch like prime quality content like I don't want to like ever compromise on that like you won't believe as much as I earn I try to invest 70% back in my channel like my lighting my camera setup my editing skills everything I keep upgrading because I enjoy putting out quality content for you guys which is why I invest so much back in my channel checking this beautiful shimmer shade on the Morphe X Jacqueline JH41 brush oh this is like pressed glitter <laughs> I think I should have used my fingers for this. So many times videos get delayed because a brand has not sent in approval and then you know it just messes you up because you have promised a video to your audience or you have a set scheduling date. So yeah all of that is what goes behind each and every brand deal and each and every video that is sponsored. If you don't know I am working at KEM hospital as an occupational therapy intern. So alongside doing my internship, this is getting very hectic for me, which is why I think in 2021, I'm going to tone it down. Before you all used to always ask me how you did it, Sarah, how you did it. Being a medical student and being a YouTuber who was not doing sponsored content, not that difficult, you guys. Like I was doing YouTube on weekends according to my space, according to my time. Uh, and uh, like being a medical student, I could bunk lectures. I could like, you know, lectures would get cancelled. I would come home early sometimes and edit videos. So I was doing everything according to a very slow pace with no goal or intention in mind when it comes to YouTube and taking my studies really, really seriously. But when it comes now, now I have taken YouTube also very seriously and internship is of course a very serious job. So 9 to 5, I'm at internship. I'm like working physically, getting exhausted in the mask and 95 plus a cloth mask like double layer wearing it eight hour shifts like no removing it at all very very hectic and then after that coming home and having to like wreck your heads with these brands and then plan your entire schedule according to them it's oh, oh, oh it's getting too much for me which is why I'm like this year I need to make a decision and be like okay this or this it's no more gonna be this and this so <laughs> the only thing is you know I don't want to make a life choice that later on I'm like you should have done the other way around you know like I don't want to have regrets of course and I think it sucks low-key that I'm already on the internet so any life choice that I make 
I get a lot of unsolicited opinion from a lot of people. Okay, let's talk about my makeup for a minute. Um, I think the eyeshadows need a lot of building, a lot of building up. Like the eyeshadows look very pigmented in the palette, but they are not translating that much pigment. Like I've been buffing and blending and putting it back in for a while. The pressed glitter, it's beautiful, but it's also not completely there. There are certain places on my eyelid that doesn't have glitter at all. So that's a little bit of a bummer. I am continuously like building it up and trying to get shadows packed in so i'm keeping the eyes on hold for some time i just cleansed all the uh, fallout that i had from the glitter with micellar water and before i sat to do my makeup i of course went and washed my face so i used my dermaviv hydra cleanser as always and now i'm just gonna prep my skin up i did apply some moisturizer before i sat to film but i'm going in again with my nutridum vitamin e moisturizing lotion new year but same old moisturizer because i love this one just going to nicely massage it in my skin. I have a new foundation. In fact, I have two new foundations to test out. And also a new primer by this Indian company itself. Ah, this moisturizer feels so good on my skin. So for primer, this is a new primer by Plume. It's their Silk Blur Moisturizing Primer. This is the company that I use sponges from. They sent this over to me. It's supposed to be like a hydrating cream based primer. I've never used it. I like the packaging and the external appearance. I'm taking very little because I already have moisturizer and I don't want my face to become very greasy. Uh, let's see if it does any job of being tacky and like stick my makeup. It's very fragrant, a very strong fragrance it has. It's like a rose perfume sort of a fragrance. I hope it doesn't break me out because my skin has been performing really well. Alhamdulillah, I don't want to spoil it. So I have two foundations here to test out. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear uh, Stay In Place Makeup and the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Foundation. I have tried this once, mixing in with another foundation. I got the shade 107 Fresh Beige and I feel like it's a little light for me. The Estee Lauder one is in the shade Spiced Sand and it's perfect for me. So let me try this just by itself. If it's too light, then we can mix the Estee Lauder one. It is light, right? It is very, very light. Like 107 ke baad it's directly 108 and that's like a caramel color. So I feel like that's too dark for me. And I really like this. You know, the foundation, I've tried it once before in a store. This is a tester that they sent over. I've never bought it because it's expensive, honey. But I would love to buy it because I like to invest in my base makeup. L'Oreal foundation has very good coverage, but the shade is really off. Like, it's really light, especially on my forehead. So, yeah, ignoring my horrible shade match right now, hoping that this foundation does oxidize later on. Like so many times I do these Q&A's on Instagram or like on YouTube as well. The major question I get is like, are you going to do your masters? Are you going to get a job? Are you going to continue working as an artist? Or are you going to, you know, do YouTube full time? I don't have answers, you guys. I don't have answers to all this right now. Don't ask me anything. You are stress me more stressed. Because if I have a answer to myself, then what was Honestly, I'm not really considering choosing YouTube full-time. Because like I said, the whole virality aspect that how internet is unstable, that is one thing. And secondly, also, I'm, I'm such a person that I get bored very fast. Like, I, if I get bored of doing YouTube, then I'll be like, now what, you know? Now what do I do? Now, and I studied four and a half years I don't want to put my education to waste. Okay, so I'm using the Rare Beauty Blush. This is the product I'm most excited for. I know my base looks much lighter than my body, but I'm hoping it oxidizes. If it doesn't, then we'll just put some foundation and cover up my body as well. But this is a liquid blush. It's really pretty. I've used it once. It's absolutely beautiful. You just need like a little bit and it goes a very long way. Can you see how pink it looks? But it's not that pink. Once you spread it out, it looks like a very natural flush of color. And since it's a liquid blush, you of course have to apply it um, before you powder your face. I got this as well on International Makeup India, so you can check it out. They just had this one color. This is the shade Happy. So yeah, I feel like uh, if you'll follow me intently this year, you'll will see a lot of life choices happening this year in my personal life, in my um, my like my my mom is like on a different tangent nowadays. Like she just talks about. People and then she talks about Iska beta bhot achha dikhta hai, ye ye karta hai, ye ye karta hai Like I'm like bro what is wrong with you nowadays Like like I mean why are you giving me guy bio datas? I am not ready to get married like that is not even on my I'm just 21 so of course they also don't want me to get married now But they basically want me to start considering that thought And it's not even like it's not even on the list like You see how stressed I am about my career like marriage is so not even on the charts bro It's like a far fetched 
thing that I'm not even thinking about right now. This is that weird age, you know, when you don't know what you want to do, where it's not really supportive uh, from the outside. And then when you're on the internet, though, it's like a lot of people's opinion coming at you, plus families on a different tangent, you're on a different tangent. So it's just so many things together at once. And I'm just like, Mujhe sona hai, bro. Mujhe sona hai, bro. For highlight, I have this very pretty new Fenty Beauty highlighter. This is the Fenty Diamond Bomb in the shade Glow. It's so pretty in the pan. This is a mini size and it cost me 1500 rupees. Subtle. It looks very glittery. It doesn't have a shift to it like I was expecting it to. Oh, it's so... Oh, it's like a rose gold. It feels very creamy. Is it a cream highlight? All over diamond vein. Achha, I think it's, this is like an all over highlight thing, you know? Oh, it looks prettier with my finger. Very glossy finish. Feels only different. So I just did my brows off camera and for lower lash I want to go in with some pinker shades. I don't want to go in with the same purple. So I'm going to take this pink, bright pink color right here and I'm going to see how it looks on my lower lash line. I don't think I want to do eyeliner today. Let's see after I put lashes we can see about that. I just want to say if you're like in a similar phase like me career wise and you don't know what you want to do. You don't know where you're going and even if you have a lot of options you don't know what to choose the way I don't. It's okay. It's fine. It's normal. I think everybody is going to go through that at some point in life. I think there will definitely be a time where you have to make those choices. You don't have a choice, which is going to be this year for me. Of course, it might not be the same for you. If you face it in the future or if you face it in the past and you have some advice, leave it in the comment section. It would really help me. Uh, but I just want to maybe, you know, talk about my insecurities on the first video of 2021 that I am low-key insecure about this year. And uh, yeah, I think it's fine to be that way. Can't always be confident and you can't always have your life together, right? So it's normal to not have it together sometimes too. In fact, like since the first year of 2021 only, I've not been getting a good vibe about this year because like COVID is still not gone. In fact, I had to get the COVID test done the very first day of 2021 because I was having mild symptoms and since I'm working at the hospital, it's not safe for me to continue working even if I have mild symptoms without getting tested. So I had to had to get the test done, which is why I got it done on the first day only. I'm taking this dark purple color on this flat brush. I want to place it very close to my waterline so that this is like tying the whole eye look together because my crease is also this color. For my inner corner, I'm using this pink shimmer color. I don't want to use a pressed glitter because I don't want to have fallout right now. So I'll just use the pink shimmery shade. It is pretty. It is really pretty. Alright, so I went off camera and literally completed my entire look. I'm using the Milani lip liner along with MAC taupe lipstick for my lips. And uh, I just wanted to give an overview about everything that I've used. So majorly being this eyeshadow palette, I think it's a very beautiful palette because of the variety that it has. The colors are really pretty. But the pressed glitters in this, like all of these pressed glitters that they have in like all of the eyeshadow palettes literally it's not the best because i'm constantly facing fallout like there's like little little glitter particle that is constantly falling and which is why my under eyes look really bad right now so i don't think i'll be able to wear it outside i will have to like figure out a way about how to use it and everything so that's kind of a bummer apart from that the shadows are really pretty definitely the winner has to be the rare beauty blush it's very pretty i love the whole idea about it it's selena gomez's brand and the packaging is also an adapted packaging for arthritis patients or patients who have weak hands and weak can muscle so you can grip this well which makes the occupational therapist in me very very happy so this is definitely the star of the show for me today the Fenty highlighter was also very pretty but it is a cream highlight it is not a powder highlight so I shouldn't have used it with a brush I should have directly gone in with my fingers and it gives a very subtle glow it's not blinding in any way I think the finish of this foundation is really pretty it makes my skin look really nice and glowy but at the same time, the shade is so off that it's not making my base makeup look flawless. So which is why I think I need to like try the shade 108 as well and see how it works. I bought it in sale and it was 500 rupees. So I think it's definitely worth it. If I find my right shade match, I will update y'all. And that was it for today's very hey bio all over the place video. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was not the most put together video. It's just, you know, I'm just going to keep all my thoughts aside and try to go with the flow. I think now that I've spoken to y'all, I'm feeling much lighter. I'm feeling like Boj Halka or Gare types. I just want to be as authentic as I am on this channel. I don't really want to show that my life is very 
really pretty put together and perfect when it's really not so i want to sit down and be able to have that comfort of talking to you all about these things so i hope you guys are kind to me in the comment section if you like today's video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up for today's video the sara spot shout out goes to pooja vithanala thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel if you want to be a part of next video sara spot shout out all you got to do is hit the subscribe button the bell icon right next to it and also leave a comment down below saying hashtag sara squad and you get a chance to be a part of my next video sara squad shout out i also want to let you all know that for 2021 the upload schedule is going to be thursday and sunday so i will see you next thursday with a brand new video bye guys love you take care